Hi, I'm Daisy. And I'm Aiden. Welcome back to another experiment. Today we're going to be doing too much or not enough. From your kit, you'll need three petri dishes, your yellow spoon, urea, a beaker, and three litmus paper rounds. From home, you'll need your water, sugar, and salt. You'll also need a stapler, a pencil, tape, and a marker or coloring agent. Now, take your tape and your pencil and label your petri dishes one, two, and three. Now that you have each petri dish labeled, we're gonna take 10 milliliters of water from the beaker and pour 10 milliliters of water into each petri dish. 10 milliliters of water into the petri dish. Now take one large spoonful of sugar and put it right in to petri dish number one. And just like sugar, you're adding one large spoonful of salt into number two. Okay guys, so now you're gonna take one large spoonful of urea and put it into petri dish number three. Number three. Try not to spill these, I did that many times. There we go. Now you're just gonna mix each petri dish until all of it is dissolved. This can take a while, so be patient. Now, you're gonna take your yellow measuring spoon and you're gonna keep adding large spoonfuls to the correct petri dishes until you can't dissolve the grains anymore. So, just for reference, number one is sugar, number two is salt, and number three is urea. So just keep going until the grains no longer dissolve. Now, take your three litmus paper rounds and your coloring agent or markers, like these ones we have here, and you're gonna decorate your litmus papers. Any way you want, be creative. Now take your three litmus paper rounds and turn them into little teepees. And once you have your teepee, you're gonna staple it or paper clip it. So basically we're just gonna do just like that. So there's a flat bottom and a tiny little top. Now take your new teepee shaped litmus papers and stick them where they stand up in Petri dish one, two, and three. Wait two to five days and you'll see some crazy things happen with your Petri dishes and your litmus paper. Maybe even some new crystals or something. So keep an eye on your new, uh, new experiments. 